Hey there folks and welcome to this video here I'm talking about F1 Speed Races 1 display ahead of the Styrian Grand Prix the start of a double header at the Red Bull Ring the place where uh, well I started doing this kind of content because it's where the season started last year and uh, for those of you who are unaware of it because a lot of broadcasts are pretty sure F1 TV actually hides this uh, the We Races 1 display is something that started from the Grand Prix Drivers Association's end racism display last season where before the national anthem, the drivers organised an action of, um, well, most of them kneeling ahead of the national anthem. And that carried on, got adopted by F1 as part of an aid and racism message. At the end of the season, they had put it into a wider we races one message, where part of it was end racism, part one of four parts. If you want to find out more about that or any of the other particular cases, so, for example... Max Verstappen using racist and ableist words, Carlos Sainz's um, accusations of racism, as well as his family's alleged ties to the far right, um, Nikita Mazepin, and all kinds of different dramas attached to him. Then you can find links in the description section down below. There's also, for example, Kimi Raikkonen, who uh, at a lot of these displays last year wore a mask that bore an iron cross as part of a collaboration with organizations that had alleged ties to the far right. Like I said, all of those are in the description box for you. My main point for this particular video is to talk about W Series. And I really enjoy W Series. It's something that I think is necessary for the world of motorsport. And uh, I see some absolutely brilliant things happening out of series such as it. And one example of that is yesterday with Sarah Moore getting a podium. I saw Josh Wilcock on Twitter, um, author of the Autobiomelli, the uh, biography of Bruno Giacomelli, was saying that this might be the first time that uh, someone who's openly gay has been on, a, on the podium on an F1 billing. I don't know if that's true, but this is the kind of guy who tends to know his figures. I think it might be the first time that a gay woman's been on the kind of podium there because uh, the only other personally comes to mind when I think about that with an F1 building would be Lella Lombardi and even then there are some people who debate whether or not um, she was gay because there are accounts that say that she had a track with her girlfriend and others that don't really talk about her um, romantic life but W Series is a massive force for change and Sarah Bohr is an ambassador for Racing Pride. I recently did an interview with Richard Morris, one of the co-founders of Racing Pride, and Sarah Bohr is one of the ambassadors, as is Abby Eaton, who's also in W Series grid, and her partner, um, Jessica Hawkins, also competes in W Series. Now, W Series is not going to all of the racing in the F1 calendar, it's going to a few. And... Some of them, like Sochi and Saudi Arabia and Turkey, for example, places where you'd say that there is rampant homophobia, if not state-endorsed, then uh, endemic in a lot of societal standards. Yeah, WC isn't racing there, but it is racing in Hungary. A country where uh, they've just banned the promotion of, well, the supposed promotion of same-sex relationships in school materials under 18s and a team who well let's put it this way when they were playing germany and germany wanted to light up the allianz arena uh with the pride flag they weren't allowed to and also neuer germany's goalkeeper was put under investigation by uefa for wearing um essentially the pride flag as his captain's armband But Racing Pride is working with Aston Martin now, and that is a brilliant thing to see as well. It's good to see these kinds of force for change happen in motorsport, especially when you see people championing it, like, uh, for example, Lance Stroll and Sebastian Vettel. One of the things that I've maintained, I think it's going to be one of the videos in the description anyways, is the likes of Vettel, Hamilton, Ricardo are sort of like the big three for F1's drives for social change. It just so happens that they're pretty much my three favourite drivers as well, just as people. But anyways, let's round it off by saying what I usually say. F1 can be better and do better, and I really hope it will. But motorsport tends to lag behind sport in regards to diversity and inclusion, and then sport tends to lag behind general society, 
with F1, you have the added kind of fact that it is um, a very rich sport. It's a very kind of... Um, yeah, it's very much centred around what people see as the upper echelons of society, the uh, cishet white men, the rich cishet white men. And you can see that in ownership of the teams. You can see that in how the sport is, like in terms of representation and diversity. It is getting better, but it is still a long way from being reflective of the world that we live in. Let's just hope that with moves such as the Howard Commission, Accelerator 25, we get there soon. And on that note, thank you for watching.